This is my England shirt from 2009. Probably a little bit small for me now, but um, some great memories of, of being able to represent my country. Uh, I did used to have my photo up there, but they had to take it down because it was scaring the kids. Harry Ellis is an ex-professional rugby player whose career took him from playing for Leicester Grammar in the Schools Cup to Leicester Tigers, England, and ultimately the British and Irish Lions. After 27 caps for his country, Harry was forced to retire due to injury. He has since returned to work at Leicester Grammar School, where he was once a student, to inspire the next generation. Originally founded in 1981, the school relocated in 2008 to a site outside the city centre. This is where our playground used to be. This is where I used to practice my passing and my kicking. And uh, as you can see, not a lot of space. This is all new. This is all bought by the cathedral. So all this wasn't here when I was at school, but this is Leicester Cathedral. And um, this is where we used to have most of our school assemblies, house meetings. Let's go and hop in the car now and take the 25 minute journey back to the new site. Now, the students have access to 75 acres of playing fields, including five rugby pitches. As you can see, we've got our first 15 pitch here second team pitch and two bottom fields. We've also got the junior school down the bottom. Lots of space here compared to where we were in the city. Great environment to teach kids how to be better people and be better sportsmen and women. Having close ties with Leicester Tigers has enabled the school to produce some great players. As well as Harry's success, the Tigers' Luke Abraham has represented England under 18s and 21s and Harry Thacker, who made 70 appearances for Leicester Tigers and now plays for Bristol Bears. Troy Thacker, Harry's dad, is a teacher at the school. The quality of the players who have come through the school is testament to its roots in the sport. The school's cup was an integral part of the students' development, the tournament in which Harry found his passion for the game. As I mentioned, Troy Thacker in there now, he is my colleague, so he's just around the corner, so let's go and meet him. This is Troy Thacker. He is a colleague of mine at Leicester Grammar School. And when did we first meet? Before you joined the school, I was playing with Harry's stepbrother. You used to come, run around, collect all the balls on the sideline, uh, bring the oranges out at half time. Your younger brother came to the school and you followed in his footsteps sometime after that. What was I like, Troy? Truth. If you want. OK. Um, spotty. Cheeky, uh, but driven, uh, talented sportsman. Academically, you struggled a bit, didn't you? Needed a bit of help, but yeah, driven. Still holds the school javelin record, don't you? Yes. As with any talented sportsman, you know, it was, it was great to push towards becoming a better player. Um, so that was, that, was, that was good. We had the link with Leicester all the way through, um, which helped push you through the academy and, and, and sort of get you into that role to, to take up what then became a professional game. Back in the late 90s when I got a scholarship, me and my family couldn't afford the, the, the fees to come to the grammar school, but I was very fortunate that uh, Leicester Tigers helped, helped me to be able to continue kind of my rugby journey and getting that exposure at state school. Very, very few opportunities to play rugby, um, but coming to this school was massive opportunity and, and really grateful for, for that kind of opening a big door for me to continue in my career. We've had some pretty good players through. You've gone away, finished your playing career, got a teaching de degree and then, uh, yeah. then came in as a, as a colleague. And I think the ex-heads probably played a, a, a bit of a blinder there with you and actually rather than just taking him on as an ex-player, um, actually said to him, look, go and get yourself qualified, which is you duly did, didn't you? I still remember that phone call from WH Smiths where you told me you got your new pencil case going to uni. So, you know, the school is, is not a massive school, but it's, it's still got that sort of family atmosphere, which it had all the way through. Rugby was amateur when I was growing up and I never, I dreamt of being a rugby player, but never thought it'd be my job. Um, so then to, to then follow and, and try and copy what, what Troy did and other people did playing the game. And then to go into a school setting where he was my kind of 
idol um, and wanted to emulate him in, in terms of what he did. Um, and then to come full circle and be back at school, I wanted to be able to put things back into the school that did so much for me. So uh, yeah, my experience of playing in the school's cup when I was at school in the, in the late 90s was a great opportunity to play and test yourself against some of the best players up and down the country playing against teams where you wouldn't normally play against in the local vicinity. Um, there was one game in particular playing against Solihull Sick Form. I was stood against the, next to the scrum half, went to put the ball in, and the scrum half pulled the hairs on the back of my legs, trod on my foot and kicked the ball in. And I was complaining to the referee, but I learned a lot, and I think it, it puts you in that shop window um, of developing and wanting to go on a, on a process to, to go on to bigger and better things. But great memories, um, and it's great that you know, partnership with Continental Tyres is, is enabling the game to, to flow and, and flourish up and down the country, not just in independent schools, but um, in state schools as well. Yeah, that, that competition is, is, is a really important competition in the fact that it does give students from all walks of life the chance to compete in, in different areas, in different uh, places, which also just enhances the game. Um, and it gives you that different level of competition. As a coach, it gives you that chance to challenge your players to a different set of conditions. And I think that's, that's where the game is really important in that. Troy, it's been lovely to chat to you this afternoon. Thank you. Um, looking forward to the, this season coming. Um, very busy term time to come, but it's uh, nice to, to sit and chat about uh, the past and, and rugby going forward. Agreed. Continental Tyres, title sponsor of the Schools Cup. <laughs>